I'm standing here in front of the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, where the vicious murder and entrapment of my friend Jamal Khashoggi took place just over a month ago. I'm here because I wanted to remember and visit the last place where Jamal stood before he was deceived into believing that he was going to be able to obtain a certificate that would allow him to remarry, but instead face trickery, torture, and death. I'm here because the call that we're now making is for the Secretary General of the United Nations to establish an international investigation into the murder of Jamal Khashoggi because we have now moved from the Saudi Arabian government's lies that this never took place to its weak admissions and efforts to hide the truth. We want an international investigation because we believe it will be the only investigation or the best investigation that will be credible and impartial and have the support of the entire international community to get to the bottom of who gave the orders for Jamal's abduction, who gave the orders for Jamal's death. This crime cannot go unpunished. We want actual answers and actual accountability for the highest levels of the Saudi government, including for the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, whose fingerprints are all over this atrocious murder. We want Jamal's death to shine a spotlight on the ongoing abuses, the ongoing persecution, the ongoing detention of hundreds of Saudi Arabian citizens who've dared to express their opinions, who've dared to call for reform. What Jamal would have wanted is for the spotlight to continue until all those unjustly held in Saudi Arabia are freed. We will continue in Jamal's struggle. We will support his effort to sh shed a spotlight on these abuses.